Hi, my name's Dan and welcome to my vlog, Pee Wee Toms. You might be able to tell that I'm slightly out of breath uh, just by talking at the moment. So if I'm out of breath and stuff, I will take a pause because I'm having trouble with breathing and things like that because of pain. Um, I vlog every day about my cancer journey and my problems that I'm having with cancer and everything that goes on with me. So if you want to follow me, smash it up on Twitter, Facebook, uh, we've got Snapchat going now and things like that and my website peewee-toms.com just hit it all up just try and show support we've got a community that we're building as well to try and help people which is uh, community.peewee-toms.com follow that that'll send you to a link permanently uh, that will be refreshing with what we're doing with the community and stuff on that part but for the moment we're on Facebook and we're trying to help everyone uh, if you've got a problem with anything, it could be to do with suicide, it could be do do with cancer, it could be to do with just fatigue, being worried about something. If you're worried or nervous about something, get, hit up that forum and just talk to someone about it. People will respond within literally minutes uh, and hopefully they can help you. It, it's better than putting it um, straight into the comments. I love getting comments, so smash comments in here and I'll always ask questions of people in in videos because it's just so much easier uh, to try and respond that way um, but today I want to explain to people why I see my cancer as kind of like a demogorgon um, kind of like in Stranger Things if you've not seen Stranger Things it's amazing uh, but my cancer I see is like the demogorgon so I'm an 80s child I love everything about the 80s and Stranger Things to me was one of those programs that I could watch and it just was all absorbing. And the kids in it are so flipping amazing. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown really annoys me, but the rest of them are amazing. So like, it, it's brilliant to watch, but I implore you to watch it. Um, but the reason why I call my cancer the Demogorgon is because it's like a, a tree, uh, and very much like the Demogorgon in Stranger Things, it's kind of got a seed, which is the sarcoma part, and then around it, it's got all these like uh, carcinoid parts and uh, squamous cells. Um, like, uh, what's the other one? I keep forgetting everything because I'm absolutely high as a kite. But it's got, yeah, it's squamous cells and spindle cells that are coming off of this. And basically what happens is it kind of branches off into other parts of my body very rapidly and very quickly and very quickly spreads and becomes life-threatening. Um, so... I've had six, six recurrences now, um, of which they're parts recurrence, parts metastasis. Um, I'm very sick, you can probably tell from my mannerisms and things like that. I'm finding a lot of things very quite hard. Um, I spent a lot of time asleep today and uh, it, it's it's quickly taking hold. It's not like it's a slow thing. And I'm turning, if you've seen Stranger Things, I'm turning into Barb and being sucked into that underworld and my life literally sucked from me. Um, but there's nothing I can do about that at this point in time. We're waiting for one of the best professors in the world to come back to us with what we can do about it. Um, and in response to everyone saying Gerson therapy and Chris beats cancer and all this other stuff, uh, None of that stuff's going to work for this type of cancer. Um, healthy diet, yes. I am on a healthy diet, a very healthy diet. I've got advice on that and immunotherapy uh, to kind of boost my immune system as much as we can because we know my immune system is very broken. Um, and I'm trying to fix it as best I can. But if, if you kind of can understand from my point of view all the things that are are kind of going on and all that stuff. My, my body is taking a massive beating. Um, so I have to try and keep healthy and do all these things as best I can. But back to this whole, yeah, Demogorgon thing. So my sarcoma thing, part of my sarcoma or my carcino sarcoma uh, has grown rapidly. And if they leave it to grow for probably another two, three weeks, That'll be it, that there won't be probably any coming back from that. So I need surgery very quickly. Um, it, it's kind of, um, it's it's rapid. It, it's crazy quick. Um, and it's crazy scary. Uh, crazy scary. 
And I want to make these videos fun and educational and really useful for people uh, to benefit from. And I really hope this helps people in the future and it leaves a bit of a legacy for me if anything does happen to me. Um, so I'm, I'm really just concerned that people don't really understand the gravitas of this whole situation and the cancer that I've got. It is really bad. Um, it is in that category of like incurable slash terminal. Uh, I just want to put this with looking straight into the camera and I want to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight this to the end. I'm going to fight this till literally I can't fight it anymore. Um, you may think that just me getting upset in one video means that I've given up or something like that. I think everyone's entitled to their time of grieving and their time of feeling low and down. And it's how you pick yourself up and you try and do things for yourself or others afterwards. So for me, there's no, no massive strategy today that I have that I can tell you that we've got. But I can tell you straight away that I will win this fight. And if I don't win this fight, you know what, I've already won because I have a great life. I can't moan about the life that I've had or anything like that massively because it was my life and I chose it. So to blame other people for my life or my failings in life or the things that have gone wrong is not right. It's not the best way to deal with anything. Looking at the past is not a good way to live. So I'm gonna to look to the future Accept that the future will be amazing. And if I beat this, amazing things are going to happen. I can assure you that amazing things are going to happen. Uh, in the next month, we've already got plans. I've got like so many plans for this whole community thing. Uh, we're looking at how we get this done into a like proper kind of like really, really, really good community to help people. Um, and I'll do a video tomorrow on what the community will be and how it will work, how it will look and try and hope that we inspire you guys to get involved and basically interact with each other. You know, we don't want money from people. We don't want really um, anything that way. If you want Obviously, if you want to make a donation to help towards the cost, because it is costly, by all means, there's a link in every video to help with building this community. But we we want to build it for the right reasons. Uh, I still haven't monetized YouTube. I've had the opportunity and I still haven't chosen to do it. Um, so, yeah, just enjoy my content. This is all about spreading the word, getting awareness to the people and trying to help people who are in helpless situations like me. And rest assured that I'm doing everything that I can to survive this. And I will continue to do everything and my family will help me and everyone will help me. And this video has been really hard to record. Uh, so I hope you appreciate. And I'm gonna go back to bed now. Thank you.